Alright, so, today, I'm going to be showing off the currently titled Undercity with Lazarus, say hi Lazarus, nod, and Megan, nod Megan. There we go, look at this, well-trained squire. So, where should we show off first? You guys, you guys lead me to where I should go first, should I show off? Just, you guys don't want to lead me anywhere? I, we've already seen the temple, the temple's pretty sweet, look at the temple, but... You got the skull, got the altar, got the entrance to the nether, which is great, which we'll be showing off later. But I wanted to show off mostly down here, so let's go, I don't know, let's let's check out all these houses, little houses, little house, house sets, houselets, I don't know what you'd call them. Okay, so here we have, a, I have a jail, okay, <laughs> who built the jail? Megan, you built the jail? Or Lazarus, you built, I don't know who built the jail. I can't tell which one of you built this jail. But we're going to have a look in the jail. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look, you guys, they, gave, they got chests and a mushroom. <laughs> chests and a mushroom, huh? Alright, I like it. I mean, I don't really have any need for a jail. Because most of the people I imprison, I don't really need to imprison. But still, handy to have a jail. Never know when I might want to keep someone alive. Don't want to bring them to the nether. You never know. Alright. God damn it. Steps, doors. Alright. So then we got this is the back the back cave. All right, we can't go into the back cave, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the back cave. It's pretty cool. We got the forge. All right, it's a forge. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Uh, we got more more houses over here, right? This is the enchanting room. Oh, that's how you guys got your sweet enchants. I like it. Wait, God damn. Uh, and what's over here? Here we have reading and writing with... Squ oh, so she's been teaching you how to write. Wait, which one of you didn't know how to write? I assume you knew how to write, because you're from the cloud. You didn't know how to write, right, Megan? All right, okay, well, that's good. That's a good thing. You should know how to write. Just reading and writing training. You guys got books and stuff? Oh, wow. Wow. Really, really going all out. And here we have squire beds with a sign saying, Oh, no. What's, what's wrong? Squires spawn here. That's right, beds explode in the nether, so you probably shouldn't try and sleep there. So three beds. That's, that's nice. It's quaint. It's quaint. And over here we have... Oh, the storage area. Yeah, the Squire Supply Shack. I saw this. This place is really cool. Wait, door? There we go. Yeah, look how organized this is. So cool. My god, it's awesome. Tool shelf. You got ender chests. I actually... I don't even know those worked. That's actually, I should probably get one of those. So we got stained glass, we got all this cool stuff. Awesome. Alright, I don't think there's anything over that side except for the cool, awesome structural stuff that we got. So let's, let's show off. I don't know what this is called. I, 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 Lazarus, you know what this thing's called. What's, give me a sign. What's, what, what's this technically called? I'm sure it hasn't. You sh I'm sure you put a name on it, but I don't, I feel like I can't remember. Agora, Greek Marketplace. Alright, it's an Agora. And it's really cool. Look at it. Got like little, little inlets and stuff. I like it. I like it. Alright, what else we got? Oh, one of my favorite things, of course, <laughs> is the Lord Deadbones. Love flowers, welcome to the new lava pools and spa. So let's, I don't know if you guys have any uh, resistance. Oh, I should probably get some resistance. Do I? I don't have any resistance either. It's fine. I can swim down here. Look at this. Oh yeah. You gotta have my name on everything. We got a little seating area in this little pool. Little pool. I don't know if you guys. Do you guys have resistances? Resistances. You guys swim in this thing? You guys are used to swimming in lava, right? Oh. Yeah. Slap one over here. Go on. Slap another one. I need it too. I don't want to die or not die. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is great. Uh, I just want to lie back and just just relax. Feel the lava <laughs> engulf you. I assume lava must feel really weird. It must be like... I'm going to assume it's like custard. It's like having a bath in custard. Probably not the best feeling thing. I like that you guys have ladders. Last time I came here, there were not ladders. I got stuck in the pool. It was very horrific. It was very traumatic. All right, now I got fire all over me for a little while. Alright, you guys get your fire off. Oh, you're not on fire anymore. Wow, you really resisted that stuff. Uh, what's up here? There's more part of the spa. Oh, it's just a nice little, it's like a steam room. It's like a 
little steam room kind of thing. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I think there's like one more place to actually show off here. Apart from the throne bat cave room area that I've already shown off. So we're going to show off the, uh, uh, the karaoke bar. <laughs> Goddamn, damn karaoke bar. So, this is the Dead Bones karaoke, b <laughs> karaoke bar. And uh, Megan, you built this, right? Yeah, yeah. So you got the, the DB on the floor. I like that. This is actually a really nice layout. Uh, we got, what's this? Reserve for the... So it's a karaoke bar that only I can sing karaoke in. Is that, is that what I'm getting? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We got the bar here. I can go behind the bar. It's pretty cool. Got chests stocked with potions. Oh, yeah. I like it. Does it shoot it? Oh, it does shoot it. That's great. Uh, you guys, you're just going to hide behind the bar. Lord seating. Oh, wow. We got lord seating and everything. Wow. I mean, I don't know why a lord would beat no squires allowed. Well, Looks like you guys are going to have to stay back there while I go over here and look at it. Wow. Talk about thematic paintings. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, oh, I've got a private bar. Look at this. Lord Deadbone's private bar and a seat that I can sit in and watch myself sing, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's head down to the nether. And we can check on the cool stuff that you guys built there. And uh, check on... Check on the... Uh, I don't want to say prisoner. Um, guest. Check on our guest. That's a good, that's a good non, non, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. A term that I can say that doesn't sound bad. Sure, let's go with that. Alright, so we should, we already showed off all this cool stuff. Super awesome stuff. And now we're going to head down into the nether. Do, 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 do. In through the altar. Wait, I should probably check. Is there any, oh look, there's, these aren't offerings. These are, wait, are those the hymn books? Those are indeed the hymn books. I've already shown off a lot of that. I also can't read all those. There's so many pages. Alright, so we'll go down. Kind of wish there was a way to go down faster. Go through the table and come out in the true domain. The truest of domains. Alright. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat. <laughs> So far, probably one of my favorite things that I've seen built is the giant statue with Lord Deadbones written above it. I think that's great. That's amazing. And then we got the uh, the skeleton. I was going to say, is that just, it's, it's not even a naked Deadbones. That's just a cool looking skeleton. Or maybe it is naked Deadbones. I can't tell. But whatever. Either way, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. So, some signs. Something daiquiri. Currently in progress. Oh, okay. There's more stuff happening. Current builds. All right. So now we're gonna do a proper inspection. We're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Cause last time I was here, you you guys were out. So now we're gonna go check out your stuff. Hopefully, the uh, guest is still here. We should probably start there. And uh, yep, she's here. Oh, <laughs> she said she's wearing a skull. I I don't know why. But, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's bowing. Everybody's, you don't need to bow, but, okay, we, we got the prayer book. I already read those. And, oh, diaries. All right, this is what I wanted you guys here for, because I was going to read some of these diaries. Because, you know, we got to read, there's, are these, there's three of these. You wrote three of these diaries. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, page one of 11. Dear Diary, Lord Wilkers came by today. He said he wanted to apologize for reading my, oh, wait. Ugh, people have already heard that part, so. Lord Willikers came, mm-hmm, he locked you up, Lord Wild, Lord Wildfall, no, Wildfall and taunted you, I like that Megan's taking a seat, uh, taunting me, they say he's dead, mm-hmm, need cake, several died pages, da -da -da -da. a tall lanky skeleton came by, he said he's my lord, I remember having a lord, da -da -da -da. Mm-hmm, with an Irish accent. Okay, so clearly she's starting to lose some memory? Memory loss? That's not something I usually encounter, but all right. He has a skull. Okay, so she thinks it's a mask. <laughs> all right. Uh, so happy that he rescued me. Lo <laughs> Stockholm. Lord Stockholm. Okay. Hard on the cathedral. Oh, you guys filled, you filled the cathedral. 
finished the cathedral, I thought he'd really like it if I made it happy, bring some cheer to the nether. It'll be all rainbow colored. I'm sure he'll like that. Wait, rainbow colored? Alright, we gotta check that out soon. I've taken to wearing a skull like the one he wears. Maybe he'll like that. Okay! That's... We got... You guys... Ugh, you have three of these? Really? It's like you want to clog up all this space. Alright. Lord of Stockholm is nice. Use remembers to feed me. You can get to sleep sometimes. Your head feels fuzzy. Okay, that's... Remember, that's obviously the memory loss. Which I don't know. I, hmm. I'm not a psychologist, but... Squire Lazarus got her food. Good job, Lazarus. I always forget to give you guys food. I forget you guys need to eat. I mean... It's not something you gotta do very often, right? Squire Lazarus told me it's Lord Deadbones, not Lord Stockholm. Uh, Dor <laughs> Lord Deadbones rescued me from a neglectful lord and knight. Uh, gave me a book telling me about how your knight forgot me and other abuse. Da -da 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 -da. He's a much nicer lord. He's a good lord. He rescued me. Uh huh. Alright. I think that's all the diaries. Okay, so. Gotta to explain to you. You're kind of sort of in hell. Uh, I don't know how much you remember. Do you remember Night Pyro? Do you remember Night Pyro? You just got a nod or, you know, no or yes? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Is she just look? Do you remember Lord Night Pyro? You don't need, you can have a sign, sure. Signs make sense. You can just nod. Maybe. Okay. We're going to break this down. So, you were a squire to Night Pyro. Night Pyro got, I don't know what happened. He got drunk, he got hung over. Anyway, he disappeared for a while. Lord Wilkers took you in, and he, I don't know, he read your diary or something. I don't know the specifics. He got mad, he put you in prison. And I saw this act, and I decided to take you away from him because... Well, I like to fuck with Lord Willikers, but also for other nefarious reasons. So, I'm going to need you to remember that Night Pyro, he's actually not dead. Uh, I know I said I'd bring him back, but he wasn't actually dead. I mean, he was immortal, so it was kind of stupid for me to assume that he'd be dead. Uh, but he thinks that you're dead. That's, uh, you know, that's kind of a... Kind of a, a sad state of affairs, but he thinks you're dead. You got another sign for me? What's, what's this going to be? Are you eating? What are you eating? Can I go back to him then if he's okay? You see, that's where we kind of hit the bump in the road. Because you technically signed the contract, I you're technically bound to me. Until you die. In which case, I get your soul, and you get to go die, which is great, because dying is absolutely fantastic. Uh, if your squire, if your knight, not your squire, if your knight pyro shows up, he might rescue you. It's still possible. I can make a deal with him. You might go back to him if he shows up, but until then, you're... <laughs> Lazarus is shaking your head. <laughs> but until then, you know, you, you just gotta get accustomed. It's not that bad here, right? It's not that bad, right? See, Megan's like, Megan thinks it's okay. Lazarus, you think this place is okay? Yeah, everyone thinks it's okay. See, it's pretty great. All right, so Rebecca's all settled. We're gonna go check out uh, Lazarus's room, and then Megan's, and then I can finally show. Congrats on your engagement. Oh, that's right, your wedding's coming. So this is Mr. Bats. You guys have a lot of bats. All right, we got the Grey Wind, who's in his cage. You have a real affection. God damn it! You have a real infatuation with bats, huh? So, oh, look at, these are, well, you know what, the fish are fine. Alright, we got a hymnal book and the tale of Grey Wind the Bat. The tale of Grey Wind the Bat, we can, we can read, I love that you just keep sitting down. You, just, you like to relax, don't you? Uh, Alright, let's read Lazarus's diary. It's the diary of Lazarus written by Lazarus. <laughs> I'm not worried about any reading because it's so long their souls go to their dead bones before they finish. Dearest diary person, da 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 Oh wow! There's 23 pages. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna read this, but I'm not gonna read it out loud. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna leave it on the screen long enough for people to read this, <laughs> so that everyone else can gather gather what they will from this. Uh, call herself a priestess. Oh wow. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. You know what? This is a really long diary, Lazarus. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to read your whole diary. So we're just going to skip to the we're going to skip to the most recent entry. How about that? We'll just do the last entry. We'll do the last entry because it's the most recent. Everybody knows your story. You've been working in secret. You got a wedding coming up. You're super excited about that. I hope because someone has to be right. Lord Bad Devil has told me that I'm getting married soon to Lord Roman Squire. Does that mean I have to leave the underground? I hope it doesn't. Does that mean that Lord Dedbus is happy with me? I imagine I'll have to live with my husband because Lord Dedbus says I'm supposed to copulate with him. He is he is a turtle. He is, I didn't expect him to be a turtle. Honestly, we had a choice, but then Roman's other squires died, so you got to marry the turtle. I'm sorry. Uh, comes from my old cloud district, and he's dead now. Has a giant turtle to square. That sounds a bit awkward. Okay, so... You're going to be getting married. You already know that. So you you won't have to leave. I mean, you will have to leave here. But you can always come back. That's the, that's the best part. Is Once you're here, you can always come back. Okay? All right, now let's finish off in Megan's room. Who, I'm surprised, actually has a diary. Because I didn't think she could write. But then Rebecca's been teaching her. So I guess that makes... Oh, God damn these things. God I hate doors. I hate, I hate doors so much. All right. We got... The diary. Only one diary. <laughs> You're sitting down again. Okay. Day one. Sky Re <laughs> Squire Rebecca teach me read and write. I will learn much. I try hard. Rebecca is nice. We must praise Lord Deadbones. Rebecca says that giving our souls to De Lord Deadbones is a good thing. I'm not so sure, but I build more for him. We make everything Lord Deadbones ask for him. L Squire Ellie makes him temples and churches and, play and plays to him at night. She is a bit odd. Squire Rebecca is infatuated with Lord Deadbones. She has teach me that words. She does not pray, but she dances and gathers him flowers. <laughs> Are all squires full of insanity? Uh, clearly, everyone here is a bit nuts. We're all mad here. We're all a little crazy. Everybody's a little nuts. All right, so we're going to go look at some... I think there's any builds. Is there any builds left? We got anything else to see down here? I think we should probably show off the... Uh, what's it called? Cathedral. Right, you finished the cathedral. It's gotta go see. Oh, Rebecca's leading the charge on this one. Okay, okay. Let's go see the cathedral, and then I can. Uh, I can. I owe you guys a few explanations. You guys might be wondering some stuff, some uh, unclear things about your contracts or something. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> praise Lord Deadbones. Praise. Lord. Okay, how the? Are these these are actual trees. <laughs> these are flowers. What the hell? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's colorful. It's really colorful. Uh, honestly, I don't know how I can even... I don't even know how you got these blocks. <laughs> I can't even be mad. I'm impressed that you managed to will this into existence. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? If it keeps you guys happy and whatever, that's fine. That's just fine. All right. So now we're going to just congregate in the throne room. And I'll explain some little details to you guys about the contracts, because I'm sure you guys are unclear about what the whole Souls thing is about. So I should probably give you guys a little bit of insight, and then we can let I can, I can let you guys get back to work, because you know, Squire, that's not working. It's why would a Squire not work? All right, this is this is my favorite throne. Wait, where'd you guys go? What? Wait, what's going on? What you guys doing? Still outside? Is there something else I haven't seen? Uh, what's up? Oh, what's over here? You guys got something else to show me? Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! Look at this! Deadbones Nether McDankies. Oh, now open. Would recommend to any souls dwelling in hell. A++++. Yelp for you. 4.5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Alright, this is actually awesome. Yeah, who needs fucking McDankies up top when we got our own McDankies down here? Oh my god, and it's even got a different menu. Oh, that's great. That's great. I don't like that whole Lords Eat Free part thing, because uh, Lords should not eat free. Not here. This is hell. I mean, in hell, you always gotta pay, right? We got a mirror, got a bathroom. Great. I mean, I, f I feel if it was more hell-like, it wouldn't have a bathroom, but it's cool. That's cool. Alright, let's check out the kitchen. Let's check out the kitchen. Is it stocked? Oh my god, it's stocked. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm not serving you guys. You guys know that. You guys technically work here. You guys can eat whatever you want. Alright, this is awesome. This is so... I can't believe you guys built a Nether McDankies. Alright, what's the switch do? Nothing? It just looks good? And we have a, dr we have a drive through 
uh, what exactly would they be driving through? <laughs> Have we invented cars? I, all right, it's got you know it's a it's a, it's a walk through. I've always thought that there should be walk throughs in these actual fast food places. All right, let's finish off in the throne room. No, it's not the throne room. Let's finish off in the throne place, the room with the throne in it. Uh, unless there's anything else you guys need to show me. No? Looks like you guys are all ready to... All right. Oh, it's such a good throne. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, so... We should probably go over the whole soul. Okay, so... Each one of you has signed a contract uh, binding your souls to me. Uh, you guys get that, right? You understand that? Okay, yeah, you got that? Perfect, okay. So... What that really means is it's essentially a way of keeping you guys as squires. And when you die, I just kind of get your soul as a commodity. Now, this probably means that you guys are going to end up walking the earth as some kind of shade or something. I don't know how the specifics really work. Can't say I really care. But the bright side is you're helping me towards my end ultimate goal, of which I'm not actually going to explain right now. All you need to know is giving me your soul is a good thing. Souls are a great thing. It's like they're just their commodity. I mean, I don't really see people as people. They're just commodities to be bought, traded, and sold. So that's all you guys need to know. And I hope you're enjoying your time here. And if you die, because you can die. I mean, this place, you've seen outside. It's, it's hell. It's terrible. And you can get killed at any moment. I mean, there's nothing to stop someone coming down here and just murdering you guys in your sleep. So... Don't be worried, though. That's totally not going to happen. But if it does, just know that uh, your soul is going to be going to a great place. And hey, maybe sometime in the future, if I ever feel like resurrecting you guys, I could probably figure a way to do that. I mean, it's not that hard. You might, you know, come back as an undead husk, which is really not great. But, yeah, it's a living. Okay, so we all clear on that? We all clear? Everybody good? All right, you guys keep up the good work, and uh, <laughs> I'll catch you all next time.